ministry in matter so that we maximize the visitation of God for our land. It was Jacob that says, the Lord was in this place and I knew not. The, the presence of God can be tabernacled in a place and lack of discernment. You can ignore God and walk away. God, whose presence make any place heaven? Heaven is where it is because of God is there. So for a moment, a, a region, a portion of it became heaven and Jacob walked back heaven because he was not discerning. From the corridors of darkness, they can read the handwriting, know the seasons. They know the time for manifestation has come. The camp of darkness, they are producing their strongest candidates at the moment. You will find men rise from the camp of darkness that are unapologetic about the things they believe. And they bully you online. They want to make you look like you are intimidated before them because they know the time for manifest has come. Let me show you a scripture one. I would like for us to read together so that it will make a sound in your heart. The Bible speaking, it says, And they said unto him, Thus says Ezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy. Listen, emphasis. The children are come to beds to travail, and there is no strength to bring forth. So women carried pregnancy. They entered labor room, but they lack strength to push. So they said, they have come for birth, but they don't have strength. There is no strength. All of the mighty descriptions of God concerning us and concerning what role we will play in the eternal scope of things has been detailed, captured in our soul as a body, but we don't have strength to bring forth. I told you this is a labor room. This day is a day of lamentation. It's a day of rebuke. Nobody will commend our generation yet. We are making reference to the works of the fathers if we want to talk about power. Till today, Ketrin Kuhlman is our reference point and we are alive. We are alive. Yet, we go to the corridors of those who died hundreds of years ago before we can talk about the power of God. This day is a day of rebuke. The children have come to the bed and there's no strength to bring forth. No strength. No strength. You continue to see yourself in the visions of the night. That you stood and you were praying and a thousand men gathered. A realm is trying to tell you what you are capable of. He's telling you, rise from this thing you are doing. Wake up from this sleep you are sleeping. Awake thou that sleepest. He says, arise from the dead. Which death is he speaking about? The same death he told Adam that if you eat this fruit, you will die. It's not biological life. You can continue to walk around as though you are alive, but you have lost an essence. Darkness has produced their captains. Darkness has produced their candidates. Goliaths have manifested. And the Davids from our camps are few. But you know yourself. And tonight nobody needs to convince. There are three regions. Men will be subscripted to fight. Those who will fight in the air. And Jehovah will need to give you weak. So that you can assess places where qualities, where wickedness in high places. You, your own work is to alter territories so that the foot soldiers can eat when they enter. I speak about intercessors and watchers. I speak about gatekeepers. I speak about men who at the altar. These ones, this part of ministry, it will not be visible. People will not see you. But your place of ministry is in the clouds. High places. War with drones. War with powers. And only Zion will be a testament of your labor on earth. And when we meet in the celestial city, we will know who you are and what you did. Number two, I speak about those who will fight on the land. They are those Jesus who sent to impossible places. And the good soldier, I will stand at my post. They are those who will be discerning enough to know exactly the motions of the spirit and abide by it. Number three, there are those who master the water. Let me share the truth with you so that you will realize something. I hope you 
know the water makes for 70% of the earth. Land is only 30%. It's a mystery. The water is, is a sphere of merchants. That is where the Bible spoke about the war of Babylon that sits upon many waters. And that she, she merchandised the soul of men. She, part of the object of her merchant is the soul of men. I'm not talking about waters in terms of literal water. I'm trying to show you that the business that happened within that sphere, there is no free space in the earth. God wanted to send an angel to deliver a message to his servant in a space. And one prince showed up and said, this is my own domain. A prince stopped God's message until they invoke an angel of war. There's no free space. If you like, go to a forest, buy a land, and start try, try to do you will see the owner of God. 